Hello everyone, welcome back into my garage. Um, today we are going to be working on my charbroil grill. The igniter on it does not work anymore. Uh, what happened was, you know, probably just over time because we've had it for a few years, when you push the igniter button you usually hear a click, click, click. Don't hear that anymore. So I'm assuming that the igniter unit is broken or, or faulty in some way. So I'm going to get into that, take the igniter out. Uh, I did get, did get a replacement one here from Lowe's, uh, you know, just kind of searched online. It says this one does say it's a universal, fits most, um, but the dimensions of it aren't the same. So I'm going to see if I can use this, and if not, maybe head back to Lowe's or Home Depot and see if I can pick up a replacement part. Shed some light on this. So I've already taken a look, but I want to show you what I'm seeing under here. So here is my control panel for my four burners. Here is my starter. When I hit it, nothing. I don't hear a click, click, click. Um, so we go right underneath, and here we have our unit. This right here is the gas line that goes to one, two, three, four burners. So but right back here, that's the unit. I've unplugged these already. Um, you know, and plugged them back in. You know, kind of def you know doing all the C computer stuff, you know, um, trying to reset it or whatever, but let's pull those out first. This did just come out. So this one was on top, and then there's this one. So the reason that there's two of these is because one of them goes to the side burner. Here's our side burner. We don't ever use it. Um, but I, I like having it. And then here's our grill. I'm not going to show you because it's dirty and needs to be clean. Maybe that's another video. So right in here. And then these metal pieces just seem to, to bend. I didn't see, you know, on this side and then on this side, I don't really see a, um, screws or anything. But let's start by loosening this up. Taking that out here, there was a battery in there. Just kind of proving it. Kind of keeps everything in place. That comes off. I'll try to keep everything for now, just so I don't lose it. And here on the back side. Just kind of muscle it out through the back, which worked. And here is the little part. I'm going to show you the difference in what I got from Lowe's to what was in there. I mean, there's a size difference, yes. In theory, this should still work. But I don't need something this big. So I'm going to go to the store right now, see if I can find a replacement for this, and return this. So as it goes, I went to Lowe's, returned the piece that didn't fit. They gave me a refund. Um, here is the old piece that you know broke. Um, and if you can see on the back here, that little discoloration up by the prongs there versus down there. I'm pretty sure this unit just went bad. So I ordered the part off Amazon. I'll throw up a screenshot of what it is. And we'll install that when it gets here. So I got the part in from Amazon. It only took a day really, which was nice. But it's the GASSAF Spark Generator 2 outlet. The one I had from Lowe's was a 4 outlet, and therefore it was just wider and I didn't need it, it wouldn't work. So I'm gonna get to installing that now. So as I get into installing this, there is a nut on here, a plastic nut. So I wanna take that off right there. Um, if you don't, it's just not gonna seat properly, and then you're gonna have to take it back out and do it again. 
Uh, here's a little metal housing that I had and the new one. So let me show you the difference in the old one here and the new one here. I don't know if you can see it too well because of the shadows, but this one's like all not burn out, just discolored around the, the ports there. So we're going to go ahead and install the new one. Here we go. That seat's in there pretty well. Um, I have my little my prongs right here to plug it back in. There we go. Let's do that. See, just pull down on the the metal front, you know, like the, the fascia of the grill. Boom, right in. It's way easier than taking it out. I'm gonna take this little plastic nut and put it on the front. All the, this nut does is just hold the activator in place. So this nut right here, I'm just gonna tighten it by hand. Kind of wiggle it around. And I'm gonna take these plugs and insert them back in there. All right, so I got it plugged in. Just these little two prongs on the back. Had to feed the wire back into it, and we're all good. So now, let's get our battery out. Plop it in, the igniter. There's my battery. Put the little push button screw back in. Let's use my right hand. And there we go. Let's do this. Let's check. Okay, I see that. Let's check this one. I can hear it. And I can see it. All right. So that's it, it's done. The longest part of this whole thing was waiting on the parts to come in from Amazon. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And the second question, this is a really big question. Do you like seeing these videos as a sort of a vlog how-to or do you want it just to be a straight up how-to video? So uh, thanks for watching this video and just let me know which kind of video style you like. Um, I'll conform my videos to you know the popular opinion. Thanks, bye. Now I gotta put this thing back.